Hey everybody, hope you're having a good week and hope everybody is doing well. And I want to share with you just a minute for our Minute in the Word this week. And I uh, want to share a thought that comes from uh, the book of Ezra, from the life of Ezra. Um, in the context, uh, Ezra you know, found himself um, in that time period of returning from uh, the captivity, uh, from Babylonian captivity, um, some were already allowed to go back. Uh, there had already been some trips, um, already been a trip uh, to rebuild uh, the temple. Uh, but now Ezra is going to be going back uh, to help um, Israel get themselves together spiritually, uh, to help them, to guide them, help any way he can. Uh, but what is said of him, I think... Um, is important for all of us, something we all need to set our hearts on, our minds on, to devote our lives to. And this is what is said in Ezra chapter 7. In Ezra chapter 7 and in verse 10, this is what is said of Ezra. It says that Ezra prepared his heart to seek the law of the Lord, or um, that is to study the law of the Lord, then to do it, and then to teach the statutes and ordinances in Israel. There is the threefold plan, the threefold system that all of us need to be living by every day. Number one is to learn, study and learn the word of God and what God um, expects of us uh, to know his judgments, to know his love, his mercy, to know everything about God. And then secondly, to then do what God's Word tells us to do. Um, and we've got to do it ourselves first. You know, we've got to apply it to our own lives, be active in it. And then, finally, uh, once we've learned the, the will of God from His Word, uh, then we're doing the will of God ourselves. Well, then we need to teach others. We need to share the Word of God with others. And that really just encapsulates um, everything. Uh, about who we are as Christians and what we need to be doing with our lives. And so let's be like Ezra. Uh, let's set our hearts. Let's prepare our hearts. Let's be determined to study God's Word, obey God's Word, and teach God's Word to those around us. And if we do that, then we will certainly uh, be pleasing to God, enjoy the blessings of God. More and more people will come to know God um, we can ultimately all be in heaven together. Think on that this week. Uh, continue to work on that. If um, in any of those three areas, maybe we're struggling, let's uh, uh, find ways to improve and do more. Um, and thanks be to God for his love, mercy, grace, and uh, thanks, to, thanks be to God for his word. All right, God bless. Take care.